We're here at the Elizabethan House and it's a hive of activity today. We've got lots of specialists come to help us in dating and understanding the date and the fabric of the Elizabethan House. We've got here Nigel, who's our archaeologist. He's looking at the plaster and the stone and the building fabric to help understand what's original and, and where the later changes have been. So we're hoping to learn much more than what we knew initially a couple of months ago. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a real telltale, that. Yeah. just that piece of earth mortar there, isn't yeah. it? Mm. Up here we're trying to use oak timbers to date this building. So the only clue we've got is the trees. If we can find the trees and the timbers um, in the building that are original, we can use them to date the building. So we've just taken a core out of this uh, principal rafter here, and the outer ring, the very outermost ring, is the most important. That's the year that the tree was felled, so that relates to construction of the building. We've been doing some investigations into the frame, the render, and the slates that are on the building. In this case, there was good and bad news. Uh, the bad news was that the building is covered in cement render, which doesn't allow uh, the building to breathe for vapour, water vapour, to evaporate to the outside, which causes the building to sweat, and with timber, there are obvious consequences. The good news was that although the timbers look fairly worm riddled and uh, delicate, that is only the surface and once you get into the meat of the timber they are in fact incredibly solid. So that's going to enable us to retain and save original elements of the building. I've noticed that the, uh, our stone masonry walls have got earth plaster, um, so that'll make it uh, very, very early. Um, and the timber beam and post structure that I've been looking and the lintel and the fireplace uh, probably date a little bit later because of the circular saw marks um, and the fact that there's a bit of brick infill above the lintel as well. So I'm guessing that's a bit more late 18th century, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I had a guess. Okay, well we'll yeah. find out when we in due course. We will. <laughs>